Hi, I'm Amr from OneShield Team. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to connect your Android phone to your Arduino board. Smartphones have amazing hardware inside. You have here an accelerometer sensor, GPS, you can log on to the internet or make phone calls. And every single function of these can be used as an Arduino shield. So why not use your smartphone in prototyping? Consider it a generic Arduino shield. And this is simply the idea behind OneShield. A mobile app that opens all the sensors and function of it. And it communicates with the Arduino board over Bluetooth. So we have here a physical board that sits on top of the Arduino to transmit the data back and forth between the Android app and the Arduino board. Let me show you how it works. So if we go to the website and click on the getting started tutorial and let's follow the steps here. So first we gather the components. We have the one shield board, the Arduino Uno, USB cable, your Android phone. And we're not going to need the breadboard or the wires or resistors. We're just going to need one LED for this example. Now remember you don't have to bring any other sensors because your phone has a lot of sensors and we're going to use them in uh, the prototyping example. Now, First off, before mounting the one shield on the Arduino board, we have to know that one shield works on two levels of voltage because to be in order to be compatible with the Arduino the way or any other ARM architecture board, you have to set it up on the 3.3 volt. But here we're gonna set up with the five volt because we're gonna use uh, we're using the Arduino Uno board. And the next thing is to mount the one shield on top of the Arduino board. And remember, if you're using any Arduino Mega or the way you have to mount the one shield and to align it with points zero and one. So you neglect this part because zero and one are the, communi the communication port with uh, the UART uh, port with the uh, Bluetooth uh, module in uh, the smartphone. So we connect the USB cable to the uh, Arduino and one shield and we mount the LED on pin number 13. There you go. We download the app on the Google Play Store and you download the library from our website as well. So you copy and paste it in the Arduino folder in the library uh, section. Or you have another alternative which is using an online IDE which is CodeBender. Now CodeBender is very easy to use and we recommend using it as we're continuously uploading and um, uh, updating the app itself, adding more shields. So in order not to download the library several times, you could use CodeBender and it's really easy um, to use. So if you did download the library, you open your Arduino IDE, open in the examples, select one shield and then the mic library. Or you just copy and paste this code in your uh, IDE. And here we're going to use CodeBender. It's, uh, it's faster, it's, uh, it's easier to use and we're going to demonstrate with it. So first off, we include the one shield um, uh, library and we define uh, the lid on pin number 13. We initialize the library, we set the pin mode into output and here we're gonna use the mic sensor to demonstrate a very simple task. If the level of noise is above 80 decibels, we turn on the LED and if not, just turn it off. So here the library is, or the function is mic.getValue, if it's more than 80, that's it, turn the, the LED to be on. So it's really simple, one line of code, we encapsulated all the headache you can do uh, or you, ca you, should have, uh, you should have used with the sensors and put it in only one line of code and that is the power of one shield. Now before we upload the code on the, on, the, on the Arduino, we have to make sure that one shield is set on the uploading mode. Why? Because one shield has um, it, it uses the UART pins the same as upload is the same as the Arduino board uses when uploading the code and it uses it to communicate with the smartphone. So we have two modes here, the uploading mode and the operating mode. That's why we have to turn the switch into the upload mode before uh, uploading the code on the Arduino board. And then we upload it. And yep, yeah, it's done. Now we move on to the next step, which is the mobile app. You can download, download it from the Google Play Store. We scan for the one shield. And of course, we should connect uh, the, smart, the, the, the one shield UART switch back to the communication mode. So here it found it. It's one shield number 3938. 
if you if you're connecting it for the first time it's going to ask you for um, um, the pairing code which is one two three four so here you have the list of all the sensors and and functions of the smartphone accelerometer camera data logger facebook whatever on the phone you can uh, communicate with the arduino and use it in uh, prototyping so here we're going to select the mic shield and let's see here so the mic is listening and whenever uh, i turn on my voice it it it, uh, it it changes the level of decibels on the smartphone so you see here my level is um is between 50 and 70 as i'm speaking and if we do it really uh loud as you can see here with the led it turns on when we uh, uh, speak really loud to the smartphone. So that was pretty much it. Now imagine what else can you do with your Android phone and the Arduino board. You can turn this into camera, GSM, or even voice recognition shields. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos and feel free to upload your projects on our website. We'd really love to see what you guys are building. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask them on the forum and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.